Apex has been a fast growing area between all the new communities and new construction that continue to pop up. And this is such a great town to live in, whether you're a young professional, a family, or even a retiree. And one of the great things about this area, there's always something to do here or the neighboring suburbs between Cary and Holly Springs. Apex is a suburb in Wake County that's just outside of Raleigh. There's an estimated population of about 75,000 and Apex has the nickname of the peak of good living. And it was even featured in Money Magazine as the best place to live in the US. And it got its name as the town of Apex was the highest point on the Chatham Railroad. And it really grew in the 1950s when the RTP was developed. And fun fact, in the 1990s, population actually quadrupled. Hey y'all, welcome to the channel or welcome back. I'm Brandi Niemergut, a local real estate broker right here in Raleigh, your connection to all things real estate and all things Raleigh. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button or tap that little bell and you'll be notified every time we drop a new video. The number on the screen and the email is my direct contact. So if you have any questions in regards to relocating or information about the area, I'd love to chat with you. Just give me a call, shoot me a text, or send me an email. However you want to get a hold of me, I got your back when relocating to Raleigh, North Carolina. So let's jump in and highlight some of the communities you may want to consider when relocating to Apex. Now with the increased growth in Apex, that's pushed a lot of the growth out to the west with new communities like Bella Casa and new infrastructures and schools like Friendship High School and some other major commercial developments. Now, the closer you are to Route 1 or downtown, you're gonna find it's gonna be more developed. But once you head west or south, it's gonna have more of a rural feel. Let's start out with Bella Casa. Now, Bella Casa is gonna be on the west side of Apex, and this is a super popular community for many reasons. One is just minutes away from Beaver Commons for shops and restaurants, and then you're only about 10 minutes away from Jordan Lake and about 20 minutes away from RTP. So it's really great if you have to commute for those jobs. Now, one of the things that I really love about this community is it was built between a span of 2006 all the way up through 2022, and there's still currently new construction in two of the communities. Now, this community also offers three swimming pools, tennis courts, and it's even next to one of my favorite places, which is the Apex Nature Park. And then it's also adjacent to the sports park as well. Now, price point in this community is going to be approximately 500,000 all the way up to 1.4 million. Now, in this neighborhood, you're going to find anywhere from three to six bedrooms that are going to range between 1,850 square feet all the way up to about 6,400 square feet. Now, some of these houses are only going to be on a tenth to 0.15 acres. But then you'll also find another section of the community that has a third of an acre to a half of an acre. Now, once you get up to the third and the half acres, then your price point is gonna bump up to approximately 700,000, all the way in excess of over a million. Next up, we have Abington. Now this is a community you're definitely gonna wanna check out. There's approximately 433 custom homes here. And again, it is on the west side, so you're gonna have easy access to the 540 and the 64. You're minutes away from shops, restaurants, close to Jordan Lake, the RTP for commuting. And with this being a top neighborhood, it is gonna come with the top price. So homes here are gonna range between 550,000 all the way up to 1.5 million. Now these homes were built between 1998 and 2008. They're gonna range from three to six bedrooms, approximately 2,100 square feet, all the way up to about 5,400 square feet. Now this is a really nice community. It does have a community pool and it has a lot of great amenities. Think suburbia meets big city amenities here. Next up, we have Crockett's Ridge. Now, if you're looking for a more rural community, this is definitely a community you're gonna wanna check out. Now, this community is also on the west side and homes typically sell between 490,000 to about 540,000. These homes were built approximately 1998 to 2006. 
They're gonna average from three to five bedrooms and square footage, you're gonna be looking right around 1,880 square feet all the way up to about 3,570 square feet. The lot sizes are gonna be between 0.17 and a quarter of an acre. Now the west side of Apex should see a lot of appreciation over the next couple of decades. And some are even estimating that the area is gonna grow similar to the way it did around the RTP. And again, this community is gonna be close to shopping, your schools, very easy to commute and get around. And this community has a community pool as well. Next up, we have Haddon Hall. Now this community is gonna be right across the way from the last one we spoke about. This one is gonna be just about seven miles away from Cary. It's still gonna be on the more rural side, close to downtown Apex. And what's nice about this neighborhood, you have a mix of single family homes, townhomes, and even condos. Now these homes were built approximately 1995 to 2009. You're gonna have anywhere from two to six bedrooms, ranging from 1,000 square feet to about 5,800 square feet. And price point is about 275,000 to 925,000. Most of these lots are just under a quarter acre, but you will find some about a third of an acre as well. Next up, we have Carriage Down. Now this place is all about location. I love this community because not only is it charming, but it also feels secluded, but yet you're just minutes away from Beaver Creek that has so many stores. There's over 32 stores. You have everything you need from Target to movie theaters to restaurants. You're gonna find a lot of cozy homes with tree-lined streets. Now these homes were built right around 2002 to 2005. And what's nice about this community is you do have a mix of townhomes and single family homes. A lot of them are gonna back up to the woods or maybe even a pond. Your price point here is gonna be about 325,000 to 400,000. Square footage, you're gonna be right around 1,400 to 2,250. You're gonna find anywhere from three to four bedrooms. And you are gonna have smaller lots here. They're gonna range from just 0 0.10 to 0 0.20 on average. Now close by, you'll find a community sitter with a gym. There's a dog park, you can go fishing. And there's also Rogers Family Skate Park with over 13,000 square foot skate plaza. Next up, we have Salem Oaks. Now this is gonna be south of Haddon Hall and it's also a really great location. Now this is a really darling area. The neighborhood actually only has about 45 homes, but people love this area as it's within walking distance to downtown Apex. And one of the best things, there's no HOAs. Now these homes were built right around 1997 to 98. They're going to be approximately 1,400 all the way up to 3,400 square feet. The most recent sales as of late 2022 is gonna be roughly about 675,000 to just over 700,000. Now the lot sizes, you're gonna average between a quarter of an acre to about a third of an acre. Now some of the things that I like about these homes, they have the wrapped around porches, hardwood floors, fireplaces, and they have beautiful tray ceilings. And again, you're only gonna be about five minutes away from Beaver Creek Commons, so there's plenty of entertainment for yourself and your family. So if you're considering Apex, definitely check out this neighborhood. Next up, we have Greyhawk Landing. Now this is gonna be a really luxurious community. It's located Southeast Apex off the 1010 Road, and it's a really quick drive to Route 1. This community offers large homes with great space, so if you're looking for more space, you definitely wanna check out this community. Now these homes were built approximately 2006 to 2015. They have approximately four to five bedrooms, and square footage is gonna range from just under 5,000 to right around 5,400 square feet. And these homes are gonna be on a lot size, right around a third, third of an acre to about half of an acre, and they go up to 1.3 million. Next up, we have Salem Village. Now these homes are gonna be off of Route 1 custom built homes. And what I really like about these homes is they do offer first floor guest suites. Now these homes are gonna be priced between 700,000 all the way up to about a million. The square footage is gonna range anywhere from about 2,300 to about 4,450 square feet. You'll find homes anywhere from three to five bedrooms and lot sizes are gonna be just under a quarter of an acre to just over a third of an acre. Now, a few things that draw people's attention to this community is definitely their amenities. 
Now here you're gonna find a pool, a 24 hour fitness center, a clubhouse, tennis courts, and even basketball courts. And it's even a short walk to the elementary school or you even can take a walk down to downtown. So all around, it's definitely a great location. Next up, we have Villages of Apex. Now this is one of the larger communities in Apex and it literally is a community that has everything you could possibly need within walking distance to the home. Now here there's gonna be a mix of single family homes and also luxurious townhomes and apartments and even some urban condos. Your price point here is gonna be roughly 415,000 all the way up to 725,000. These homes were built between 2008 all the way up to 2020. Bedrooms are gonna range from three to six bedroom and square feet about 1,400 to 3,690 square feet. Now, these homes are gonna be on smaller lots, averaging about 0.10. Now, what's really nice about this community is it's really like resort style living. And it has a charming village center where residents or guests can shop, get a bite to eat. And downtown Apex is even less than a mile away, so about a 15 minute walk. So it's definitely a great location and neighborhood you definitely wanna check out. Next up, we have Scott's Laurel. Now this is a really great community, especially if you're looking for a charming community with mature trees. You're gonna find spacious townhomes, and even luxurious larger homes. And this community has even been rated as best place to live in the country by Money Magazine. And then you have Scott's Laurel. is in the heart of Apex, surrounded by quiet wooded areas and walking trails. Now this area has over 500 single family homes and just under 200 townhomes. It's definitely one of the larger neighborhoods here in Apex. Now, it's really nice because you have several different designs here, so there's a great mix of home styles. Price point, you're gonna be right around 325,000 up to about 635,000. The homes here were built in about 1998 to 2016. Square footage is gonna range from about 1,300 to just under 5,000 square feet, and you can find homes ranging anywhere from two to six bedrooms. Now your lot size is gonna be anywhere from 0.10 all the way up to about a third of an acre. Now this community is gonna be east of 540 and it's really easy access to Beaver Creek Commons, the RTP and Jordan Lake. Now this community also has the community pool and a very active neighborhood recreational committee. They really like to do some really fun events from Halloween parades to Easter egg hunts for the kids and they even have food trucks. And close by, there's actually a 50 acre lake. You can play tennis, there's outdoor sports at Apex Community Park. And if you wanna head downtown, definitely check out Scratch Kitchen and the Tap Room. By now, I think you're starting to see why so many people absolutely love Apex and decide this is a great place to live and thrive in. And there's so many more wonderful communities here that I didn't even have time to cover. I really hope that you found this information helpful. If you did, please click the like button so others like you can find this information. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please tap that little bell so you'll be notified every time we drop a new video. Now, whether you're considering relocating to the Apex area or somewhere within the Raleigh surrounding area, we would love to help. All you have to do is give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when relocating to Raleigh, North Carolina. Till next time, we'll see y'all later.